the first flight carrying Indian nationals from Jeddah has landed at the T3 airport in Delhi. This uh, a flight is carrying Indian nationals who have been evacuated from Sudan. Uh, the flight was carrying 360 Indian nationals under Operation Kaveri. Welcoming the evacuees, External Affairs Minister Dr. Jay Shankar said, India welcomes back its own. Now, there were are at least about uh, 3,000 uh, Indians in Sudan and they are being brought back in batches. Uh, out of these, about 1,500 are those who are uh, constantly moving between India and Sudan. 1,500 are those who are settled uh, with family and businesses there. So uh, the idea is to bring back all those who wanted to come back to India and move the others to safer places uh, if required uh, within Sudan as well. Now, both uh, the ships as well as IAF aircraft are being used for this evacuation. Uh, ship uh, INS uh, Sumedha is the one that was positioned at uh, uh, Port uh, Sudan, where the first batch of evacuees had reached about two days ago, 500 of them, out of which uh, 360 now uh, returning to India, uh, who have now landed by a flight that came via Jeddah. Now, the other batch, uh, some of them have also been evacuated using uh, C-130J, uh, the Indian Air Force uh, aircraft that, uh, in fact, has been bringing back uh, people from Sudan as well. So, slowly in batches, people, that is Indians who were stranded in Sudan, are being brought back. Priyanshi Sharma is uh, at the airport now. She's joining us with more Priyanshi. It must be a huge sense of relief for those who've landed today. So, uh, in small batches now, we'll expect uh, uh, all these people, all the Indians who were stranded in Sudan to be coming back over the next few days? Absolutely, Maha. What we can see here at the Indira Gandhi International Airport is absolute joy on the faces of the people who have been rescued from crisis hit Sudan. Uh, they've been uh, rescued in a batch of 360 people. This is the first flight carrying Indian nationals who were stuck in Sudan and 360 of them have been rescued. They've just landed here in the national capital and we've spoken to several of them and they explained the horrors that they've seen in Sudan where the fighting is continuing for over 10 days now. And the Indian government under the Operation Kaveri is rescuing uh, the Indians stranded in Sudan. Remember, 3,000 Indians are stranded in Sudan and out of them, 360 has been rescued today. Now, they tell us that first they travelled from Khartoum, um, uh, from Sudan to Jeddah in Saudi Arabia via a ship. And from Saudi Arabia, they've come here to India via a Saudi Arabia flight. So that, that has been the journey uh, of these people who have been rescued from Sudan. And we've spoken to several of them. Some of them say that they've gotten a new life now and they won't go back to Sudan considering how the situation is. But some are still optimistic. They say that they've left everything they had there in Sudan, but they will go back to re-establish everything. So some people are optimistic, but some do not want to look back at that life and uh, they want to start a new life as they recount the horrors. But absolute joy on the faces of the people as, as they've been rescued after 10 days of fighting there in Sudan. Absolutely. And the horrors they would have witnessed over the 10 days where intense fighting was on, especially in many parts in Khartoum. Priyanchi, thanks for getting us details.